Yo, what's going on guys, and welcome to this career mode episode. I'm going to be doing one in France, Italy, Spain, Germany, and England. And hopefully I'm going to be trying to aim that I can at least have uh, at least three of them done by the time FIFA 19 comes out. Now, you're probably going to know, I'm not going to buy it straight away. Because that's not really why I do. But, yeah, at least we're going to... At least this will probably be my last career mode series. As I'm not really going to try and play FIFA after this one. So this will be my last time playing FIFA. Oh, this, these five career modes will be the last time I play any FIFA. But that will be that will mean that I'll have no more episodes of these going up after this, which also means that my channel will mostly be Dead by Daylight and um, Fortnite. Until Fortnite dies down, I'm going to lean towards Dead by Daylight. And then you might see a couple of odd series from Assassin's Creed Black Flag and Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. But yeah. For in the meantime, I'm going to do five career modes with five different in five different nations. But you'll probably have seen I try to do something like this last year I did it with um, I believe I did it with oh I'm um, trying to think I think I did it with Crotone, Talos and another club and yeah the series I didn't really like it but at least with this Saint Etienne squad, I might be able to win the Fran French title and actually do a bit well than I can do. And at the minute, I'm just really commentating over me, just doing the sorting out the squad. And as you can tell by the or menu, I didn't select a preseason tournament because I didn't really want to waste all that time get to the final and probably not earn that much but and you're probably gonna think what team am I going if I do any transfers what league am I gonna use because I'm not going to be signing the players from the country that the front that they're in so I won't be signing anybody from the French League for this I'm gonna choose one European team one European League and I'm gonna pick the Premier Division so I'm gonna be scouting people in Argentina hoping to get better results than I can and yeah so when these scouts come back or when this French scout comes back I'll send them to Argentina I'm going to send this other scout probably to the Eredivisie and yeah see who I can get and I'm just going to show you quickly who I'm going to do the training for if you know me all I do in training is literally train anybody that's below anybody that's got a low rating for instance I've put Salshi and Rocco Sanchez in the training at the minute and then I'm gonna put Nade and um, Landini we'll put him in the defender endurance and then hopefully we've got a nut okay we're gonna go and put Mashinal in Russian the attacker So you got B, C, C, B, C. That's pretty good for the first session. 
and I'm going to show you quickly who I'm going to add from the Eredivisie because I'm thinking of a couple of players that I'm going to add one of the first one players for Ajax and it is Andre Anana he's a keeper and hopefully he will be a good fit and then oh yeah, as you can tell this this is on an account that hasn't been updated so people, players like Sanchez uh, and that's it yeah so literally most of these squads aren't even updated the second player is from Feyenoid and it is Nikolai Jorgensen I think that's how you say it and he will probably be our new striker as a starting, stri starting striker is Dione and yeah he's just I think just arrived from Dijon from right yes 13 million from Dijon anybody else just recently arrived do you see from Empoli good good signing he's young he's got a couple of years uh, yeah that looks like it's it my starting keeper will be Ruffier and I'm gonna start really playing Ruffier and I'm not gonna be doing the youth setup in this because I don't feel like I have time to do that and it might really become a surprise the first transfer offer is for Loric Luke Perrin I'm gonna reject it I'm not gonna sell him he's pretty much gonna be our starting centre back another training session hopefully we can do well who knows um, not bad but we need to at least improve in some places and yeah let's simulate to the next training session okay no we got a loan offer for Hamuna Ham I'm just gonna call him Romaine I'm gonna reject the loan because I'm not gonna plan of selling him or loaning him out as he is my starting right wing I'm gonna send the scouts now to Argentina and the Netherlands I always just remember that really some of these players won't be with us with us within the next few years but as you can probably tell I'm doing five career modes with in five different countries so I'm only going to be doing one season per career mode and then when FIFA 19 comes out I might buy it I might not but I'm not going to be recording any of it the only part I might start to record it next year after Christmas just because I'm not sure if I want to do it I'm at the minute I'm just deciding what sh I should do on the channel I'm going to start doing some more football challenges and all that and we get an offer for Florentine Pogma 7.4 million I'm going to reject it anyway because it's not even his value so yeah and I'm not even going to sell him now we just I'm gonna advance to the first day of the transfers and see what we can do another training session as you can probably tell this video might be a bit long a bit over 10 minutes but hey I'm willing to do five career modes and, and do them only a year at the minute I'm gonna be doing trying to do at least two career modes per no no it's not it's um do two seasons per two no I'm on about games I'm um, it's 
been a long day today. As you can tell, I can't really speak that much. And at the minute, I'm just adding players that look good onto the list. There, when then, I can sign them. But I'm not accepting anybody over 30, as you can see. Lucas Alario. Is that Leverkusen? I think. Christian Pavon. Pavon. Then we move to the Netherlands. Most of these players are probably not even 30. Matt Mazzeg is on loan, so I won't be a... He's just loan. He's just been signed. Singraf. Singrafson. He's just he's just signed, so no. Joey Pelus Pessi. Okay. Lockadia could be a good sign and so could Mahi. Uh, and in the comments let me down who you think I should sign. I'm gonna consider adding people if they're not in any of the other big leagues. So if you want me to sign a player, it has to be that they're not in England, France, Germany, Italy or Spain. I'm doing this in all my series. So then I'm not signing domestic players. And it might be, it's going to be easier on me. So yeah. I'm going to end the video after when we get to the first game of the season. I want your guys' feedback on what I should do how and if you want I'll try and make this so I'm not doing it every week weekend I might do say so episode on Wednesday then on Saturday and Sunday then Wednesday and like that just so I'm not gonna be so that means there'll be three episodes a week that means I could get it done if I do it in probably Don't know. I could try and get it done in full a month, four months, because I might do two of these episodes a day. So I might do this one. And I could. I might start using a Tuesday and a Wednesday to do my videos. But I know I'm gonna try and upload on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'm, I might. Me personally, I've got two days just so I can record them. And as you can see, I'm pretty much not going to be signing anybody because I don't really have the budget. But if they're over under 9 million and they're good, I'm considering it. Yeah, I'm going to take these off because they're more than I can pay. So, where do we need to rarely Im improve rarely left back so we've got Singraven who actually could be a good player I'm gonna try and sign him just be careful though I have got nine only 9.6 million I'm pretty much only willing to pay at least 9 million for him I'm not willing to do that. I'll bring it down to at least 8.5. Okay, 8.5 for Singraven. Means he could be a good player. That means if I want to sign anybody, I've got to sell players. So at least we've got 1.1 1, 1 .1 million left. We haven't used all of it up. I'll try and get him on a four year deal. He'll accept that. No release of clause. Okay, that would be good enough for me. And I'm gonna accept that. So we've got a new left back in Singraven. So he will replace Mbengui. He's only twenty two so he's got room to improve. I've just unlocked a trophy if you want to know. Called and it's sniper. Oh wait, and probably you can tell this. This isn't on my main account that I am currently using to do what I do in my personal time. 
so at the minute I am really considering doing some more series so yeah if you want me to do more episodes of this weekly I will it's just that I'm planning to do five of these so rarely I haven't got really the time to do it but if I could record like say I could do say if I have a free day tomorrow I could record I might do and our first game is against Nice now this video has been mostly me babbling on about what I'm gonna do so we are at the first game of the season so I'll see you hope you like the video subscribe if you want more videos from me and that's it for now see you next time bye